Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So today I've got something really interesting for you. So Trimble's coming out with the new Trimble Access 2020 on the data collector. Uh, it's got a really cool feature that I think is gonna be um, something that is going to be very important to you guys in the near future. So we all know that 2022 datum, ITRF, what's going on? We're pretty familiar with all that by now. I'm sure you've seen plenty of NGS webinars and you know at the conferences and stuff like that. So what most people don't know is Trimble has what's called RTX. So RTX is a satellite-based correction that um, basically what it does is it uses um, a global system of base stations and geosynchronous satellite in order to give us corrections. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you uh, what Trimble has done in 2020. So I'm going to shoot this monument with 2019.11, and then I'm going to turn around and shoot this monument with um, 2020, and I'm going to show you the difference of correction that they've got going on, okay? So I've got the data sheet, got all the information that I need. So um, first things first. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what happens. I'm gonna use um, 2019.11, which is the newest version that's out right now. Um, like I said, 2020 is coming out um, Wednesday or something. I think they said the sixth or something like that. I can't remember. But anyways, 2020 is coming out. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna create a project exactly the same in 2019.11 as I do 2020. And I'll show you what happens with the RTX, okay? So, Let's go to, um, we'll use Robert Survey Customers. We'll go to, uh, you can see where I've already done some testing, but we're gonna go in, we're gonna say, um, how about, well, if I could spell, YouTube RTX. How about we call it that, okay? <laughs> so, let's go and look and see what I've got set up here. So I'm using Geoid Model 12B on this data sheet. It says they're using 18, so I'm gonna use 18. Uh, this, I believe, says somewhere on here that it's XE, can't remember if it actually says it's Arkansas North. I know it is, because I've already shot it. Anyways, it's Arkansas North. So uh, project height, project height is your ellipsoid height. So, um, oh, 131.12, 131.124 1, 131 meters is what it is. I am not too concerned about it uh, because what that is, is uh, for you to calculate to a good ground. We're not doing that today. Okay, everything set to US survey feet, blah, 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 except so I'm gonna go in first thing, I'm gonna to go to key in, I'm gonna to go to key in points. Um, I'm just gonna call it monument. Actually, you know what? Why don't I call that point number 100 and I give it a code of monument. That'd make more sense now, would it? Northing. Let's see here, where's my northing and easting at? Here it is. So, survey feet, Arkansas North. See, I told you it said Arkansas North somewhere. Arkansas North, and it is 366.985.43. Easting is going to be 625.216.57. My elevation, which was on the first page. My orthometric height is 430.20. Store. Okay. So I've got that stored in here. So now let's go in. Let's go to um, stakeout. We're going to stake out um, RTX. Let me show you this, the survey style real quick for RTX. So... Um, 
RTX, Rover options, and that's all you need to set up. We're gonna set it up under RTX SV for satellite. Now they have an RTX internet. I'm gonna show you guys how that works as well. Um, not today, it'll be in another video, probably next couple of days. I may come out here and shoot the same point, but I, I wanna see how it works in the woods and see. This is based on a geosynchronous satellite. So if you get into too much tree cover, you lose that geo with that one satellite, your initialization is gone, okay? So um, this could be really handy for like just setting a control point, I think, or you know, if you're working out like I've got this big parking lot behind me here or are these drainage structures or whatever, I mean, that type of stuff would work great. Uh, don't need a base station, right? It's, um, it is RTX, so it is uh, based on a geosynchronous satellite and based on all the uh, ground base stations basically around the world. It's building a, uh, a model, kind of like VRS does. Okay, so I've got everything turned on, except we'll go ahead and store it. So let's go in, we'll go to stakeout. I'm gonna say RTX, I'm gonna say points. I'm gonna say, let's choose from list, monument, stakeout, and crap. Of course, I didn't get my Bluetooth set up. Settings, connections, Bluetooth. Whoops, don't have anything set up. Eight five, accept, stakeout. So now we'll let it connect up, which I should have already done, but oh well. This is real surveying, right? This isn't the phony stuff. So my receiver's turned on, there it goes. Connecting to receiver, starting RTX. I'm on the North American continent. So that's a tectonic plate I'm gonna choose. To the point, antenna height. Mom, I put mom instead of monument. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, antenna height, uh, two meters. Start. Okay. So as you can see, RTX, I'm already, if you'll notice, that they've got it set up with, uh, I think they call it RTX fast. So it's initializing super quick, like a minute or less uh, in the U.S., so uh, this works worldwide. I think maybe worldwide, once you get off the US continent, I think you're about 15 minutes, I think they're saying, for it to do its convergence. So right now, RTX, satellite-based, guys. Now keep this in mind, this is satellite-based. This is, I'm not tied to a base station. I'm not using a SIM card. This is totally satellite-based. I'm down three hundredths is estimated error on a horizontal and 600 is estimated error on vertical. So the thing that you can see is, is that I am two and a half feet south, two and a half feet east, and I've got a fill of almost four feet. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab the other data collector. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, and I'm gonna show you what 2020, what they've done in 2020. This, I would have to take this information and store it. Then I would have to take it to uh, HTTP or HTD, whatever it is, Horizontal Time Dependent Transformation on the NGS website. Go in, I can do a batch CSV, I can convert it. There's no other way for you to convert this to um, NAT83 without doing that. Because with the ITRF, it, there's velocity involved in the tectonic plates and stuff like that. So we're not going to get all super complicated on it. Today, I'm just going to tell you kind of what's going on. So. But what Trimble's done in 2020 is, is they've got all this going on in the background and they're doing the correction for you. This is what's gonna make this really interesting. That's the reason I'm building the video because I never really felt like it was something that was really tangible for you guys. But with the uh, satellite-based correction and with the uh, internet-based correction, I think this could be something uh, very tangible for you guys. So, okay, give me a second, let me switch data collectors. Okay, guys, so I went and grabbed the other data collector. It's got 2020 on it. Um, you can see here if I go to, whoops, wrong one. If I go to about, you're going to see this one is 2020. The other one was 2019.11. Okay, so field work uh, is my project. Uh, you can see where I've already done this one time before, so let's do this. I'm going to say... I'll make this small letters for you guys. YouTube, R, T, X, X, Arkansas North. Let's go look and see. 
make sure we're on what we need to be. Select from library. 2018, Joyd model, NAT 83, Arkansas North. Everything's exactly the same as I had it set up in the other one, right? So what we're gonna say, except my project height, I had it 300 feet. Not that it's gonna make any difference. So, accept. Okay, so we got this job created. Now let's, uh, let's key these coordinates in again. Okay, so maybe I can spell monument right this time. So we're gonna go to key in, points. Boy, the gnats are bad out here. 100, code, M-O-N for a monument, northing, 366-985.43, easting, 625-216.57, my elevation, or my orthometric height is 430.20. Enter, store. Okay, so now then, let's go in to uh, stakeout. We're going to go RTX SV. We're going to go to points. I'm going to say 100, stakeout. And apparently I've got my tilt turned on. So, what a difference, huh? So if you look at this now, I'm go south a tenth, uh, go west, I don't know, five hundreds, and I've got a fill of like anywhere from zero 100th, 200th, what a difference, isn't it? So what they've done is they've, they're they doing the correction behind the scenes when you hook up to, and I'm about the same, right? I'm 300th horizontal, 600th vertical, estimated error, right? Remember, that means I think so. So um, so as you can see, this, this is real-time correction coming from a geosynchronous satellite modeled atmosphere based on ground base stations that Trimble has, uh, and they're doing what they call RTK or RTK, RTX fast. So you see how fast I've initialized everything. This is really good. I mean, this is um, pretty dang impressive in my opinion. Um, you know, it says I'm off about a tenth to the south. Uh, right now it's saying west about 500. So my elevation is still holding three to 400. Well, that's good for anything that I'd want to do with this for sure, right? So. Uh, topo, parking lot, topo out in a wide open field, something like that. So if I understand correctly, don't quote me on this, but I think if you got the subscription to RTX, I think you get the, your, the, the centimeter grade. I think you're eligible for the, um, the satellite base and the internet base. Now, what I'm really interested about the internet base is it's a cell phone base, right? So if I was working somewhere where I didn't have cell phone service, and all I had was one piece of equipment, then I'd be golden, right? If I needed to set a control point to do a boundary survey out in the rural wherever, there you go. Step out in the open, set me a couple points, set my total station up on it and roll. So to me, this is pretty valuable. Um, and the nice thing about this is if you were surveying in California or you were surveying in Maine, this subscription gets you all the way across the United States, right? So for us guys surveying in the United States, this is golden, man. I mean, we got the, the RTK fast, or, or, yeah, RTX fast. I keep saying RTK, RTX fast. So it lets us initialize quickly. I go back, same thing. You get into trees and stuff like that, you could have a problem with it. Now, what I'm gonna test next, uh, hopefully sometime this week, is I'm gonna test the internet connection. With the internet connection, I'm not tied to that geosynchronous satellite the way it's giving me corrections. And I got a suspicion that I can get into some of this vegetation um, with this. I mean, if we look right now, I'm running 21 satellites uh, based on this. So I, well, the other day I checked it at this time of day, I was doing about 20. So that's about average. I, I don't know, maybe I pick up more satellites. I mean, I'm wide open sky right now. Maybe I pick up more satellites during a different time of the day. Not sure. I'd have to look at it and test it and all that good stuff. But hey, I'm going to play with this stuff and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And um, just, um, just remember, you need an R12 or an R10, something that will uh, work with RTX in order to make this happen. So guys, I hope this helps. I uh, hope this gives you a um, little bit of information on some of this stuff. Like I said, the next video, well, maybe not the next video, but a video this week, uh, I'm planning on doing the uh, internet base. So that I think is gonna be pretty interesting. But anyways, um, 
2020 is coming out in a couple of days. I'll post this video right after they release 2020. So between now and then, you guys stay safe. God bless. Love you guys. Like and subscribe. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Keep me going. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, man. Be safe.